homeless people are a rising element in the Republican Party. But there's also a lot of skepticism that all this spending, all these wonderful sounding things, these water grants, everything else, are not delivering the things that they claim to deliver. That they're not this magical solution that creates thousands of jobs every time you, you know, switch on a program somewhere. There's a lot of skepticism about that, and I think that's largely the fault of the Obama administration in that they promised by now, if we pass that stimulus bill, we were going to have 5% unemployment. Well, real unemployment with workforce participation and all that is 14%. We know that these things are increasingly met with the public's skepticism, not with, oh, joy. You know, when you say a jobs bill, it sounds great, but now people are like, what the hell does that mean? What is, it, what is it really going to do? Because they don't see the connection. They didn't see the stimulus you know, dropping unemployment to, like I said, right now on their chart that they released, that the Obama administration released, we're supposed to have 5% unemployment right now because of the stimulus bill. That was their, their solid promise on it. Well, we're not there. We're per percolating along with this sort of weak, iffy economy. It's the meh economy. We're not ever, there's never been a big breakthrough from any of the spending stuff. Well, it's, 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 people still want government to do stuff. I mean, right. look at, I mean, the, the hard thing is you can't go out there and say, we're not going to do anything. We're, we're, we're not going to, we're, we're going to cut, cut, cut. We're going to get rid of all this stuff. Government's not going to do anything at all. I mean, this is something that works really well on a, uh, you know, like, like a CPAC podium. Right? That stuff, I mean, that stuff sells really well. Government's not going to do anything except for defense. But when you get out there and you try to campaign on that and really talk about things, like, you know, you're not going to have money for this project that you like, it's very difficult. People don't like that. And so, this, so, the, so the hard thing they have to deal with is that they, they have a part of their base that wants to hear that message, but a lot of the voters want to hear you're going to do stuff. Well, and that doesn't even necessarily want to hear about cutting Medicare and, and cutting no. Medicaid. You know, when you go to these websites about who wants to cut what, or you look at polls, it's always the same thing. It's like foreign aid, which is such a small <laughs> part of the budget. Mm -hmm. So, I, right, and, and, and that's we're, it, we're talking about. You know, that's what I say. We talk about the, the appropriations, but we're talking about non-defense discretionary yeah. spending. You know, exemption. We have, we're not talking about you know exactly. Medicare and Social Security. Right. So you end up with these draconian cuts. And, and it, it, the, the story right now is that Republicans are even finding. Some Republicans are even finding they can't stomach.